If a full-time eBay seller started from scratch, how quickly could they grow a new eBay account? Well, I've been a full-time eBay seller for the past three and a half years, and over the next 90 days, I'm gonna be using all of my experience to scale a brand new eBay account to its first $5,000 in sales. Today's day one, and well, we've got a lot to do. One of the best parts about eBay is it's completely free to set up, and it doesn't take very long to do. All you need is your name, email, and password, and your account is literally ready to go. From here though, I did go in and I changed my account settings and I changed my user ID to Winnie's Winners, and then I also changed the profile picture to a photo of Winnie, in case you didn't know that's our family dog, but I'm her favorite. Uh, and then I went in and I added the payment details as well, um, so we can get paid out. But apart from that, we're good to go. Now, the next step in the process, is to always go through your setup. You wanna go out and you wanna buy things like a trestle table, you wanna get some really good box lights so you can take some photos, and you wanna go and grab some of these, which are some storage tubs and potentially even some shelving. Now, for me today, because I've already got all of this as a full-time seller, I don't need to go and set myself up, which is great, but I do need to go and buy some more of these, some plastic tubs, because that's what I'm gonna house my stock in, and I'm gonna keep it all upstairs in the third bedroom, just to keep things separate from the main store down here. So let's get out to Bunnings and go and pick up some of those. Right now, these are definitely the best ones to go with. They are the 50 litre uh, clear with wheels. They're only $6.95 each. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab three to start off with. Um, so you're looking at about $21. And you've got your lids up here as well. So that'll get us started and hopefully we can keep filling more and more up. All right, so this is ultimately our office that Courtney and I use, but it's actually gonna be where I house all of this second store's items. And we've just picked up those tubs and I've gone ahead and I've written up just literally a couple of little SKU numbers um, that I'm gonna be putting onto each of these. Um, and it's literally gonna be number two, A, B, and C. There they are right there. So that is gonna be the way that we identify these three tubs. And I'm literally just gonna stack them one on one right in here. And the whole focus of what we're gonna be doing outsourcing later in this video is trying to only buy enough items that are gonna fit into these three tubs. I don't wanna just blow this room up with inventory. Every item that I buy, I really wanna be getting a good sell through rate and a really high average sale price so we can get to that $5,000 as quick as we possibly can. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these numbers on these boxes, stack them up nicely in here and then we can go out and buy some stock. Now, I can guarantee you guys that when I first started selling on eBay, I never did this, which is create a bit of a game plan for what we're trying to achieve. We need $5,000 and we need to do it in a 90 day time period. So I've gone ahead and I've crunched the numbers and what it works out to is it works out to an average of $388 in weekly sales. I think we're gonna to need to at least list double that to try and get those numbers. So I think $700 is gonna be a really good sort of rough number to go by from a listing value perspective. I'm gonna work on really high average sale price items when we go out and thrift for our first $700. And I'm actually gonna immediately list up what I'm gonna call a $700 store starter. So 700 bucks live and then 700 bucks every single week for 13 weeks to hopefully average out a mix of averaging 250 to $500 in sales over a 13 week period. That's my goal. I'm gonna see how it pans out over the course of the next few weeks, but you need a place to start. And I think these numbers are a really good indication of hopefully us achieving that 5,000 at the end of the 90 day period. I may need to change things along the way, but let's see how we go. <laughs> First item of the day. I managed to find these Gel Lethal 19 football boots. I actually love selling football boots. I know the category really well. For $5, these should convert into at least $50. I'm probably just gonna go a little bit cheaper than most of the comps that I'm seeing. Um, these are the Lethal Speed RS. Um, they are $20, so it was a little bit exy, but I actually like the fact that it's a size 14. 
um, seventy dollar comps. I'm gonna probably go for about fifty bucks on them. This was an awesome find, guys. This was some arena. Um, Australian swim shorts. Um, so this is the Australian Dolphins swim team. These are a size large as well, so a 34 waist. I don't do a lot of clothing in the main store, uh, but something like this, it really is a true collector's item for somebody out there. Team issued Australia pants. Um, these were going for around about $75 on eBay. Um, so there, there's some comps there. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually priced this up for 75 bucks. Six dollars in store was excellent. Um, some jeans as well. I used to do a lot of these. I know that this brand does really well. The brand is new. N E U W. Put it on your bolo list. Uh, this is one to be finding for six dollars. That one should convert not for too much. About thirty-five dollars on that one there. But I'm still happy to pick it up. It's a very very strong brand. Um, this one absolutely surprised me. Surf rescue shirt. Um, some comps on eBay were going for about a hundred dollars. I don't think it's quite as high as a hundred dollars. I think it's more like fifty bucks. Um, but yeah, women's size 12, pretty cool. I didn't get any footage of this one, but I found four seasons of the show Spooks, and I think I can get about $30 for it. So a dollar each, I had to buy those. This one, it was a good dollar as well. This was the Wild Boys collection, season one to four. Goes for about $50, so that was actually a huge find for just the dollar. Um, I also found this as well, Full House. If you find the full series, it's worth $125, but as you can see, this is gonna be worth about $50. So to pay $650 in store, the DVDs are really coming through for us. I went into a Lifeline store, and, and just on the glass window, at the front I saw these Nike basketball shoes and um, I have seen them in the past before but I couldn't quite remember the name of them and being behind the glass I couldn't actually pick them up and have a look so I've used the Google Lens app and you can actually just take a photo of the product and it'll bring up all the comps on eBay and it was going for about 80 so I left it behind good news we have a five dollar filler bag on the DVD section I've got sliders here it goes for about $25 uh, and then I've also got a couple of other winners here Hannah Montana and newlyweds they were both going for about 20 bucks a piece uh, and then I also found a part season set of that 70s show. We're just missing two seasons here for this one to be complete, but the fact that we're putting them all into a bag today and paying just the $5 for it, it's just such a low cost of goods. I'm absolutely thrilled with that. Could have bought more, but I don't want to overpick. I don't want to buy crap. I want to buy the good stuff. Uh, speaking of good stuff, these ones right here, these ASICS uh, Gel Quantum 180s, uh, a really good pair of shoes, guys. There are some significant comps on eBay around the $100 plus mark. I think these ones, based on the condition, are more around about the $75 price point. You wouldn't believe it. There was actually two pairs of the same size in store. Um, so I'm gonna go 75 bucks a piece, $30 into $150, how good's that? This was the best of the day though, guys. I found some Alpine Stars motorcycle gloves. Um, true leather on these, an awesome, awesome find. I, I, look at the comps, a hundred dollar item. Um, I'm gonna list these up for $99.95. Um, they were pretty much in light new condition. So a great way to round it out. Well, it may have taken a couple of sourcing sessions, but we have finally got our $700 worth of a store starter. And I'm wrapped about these items, guys, because it's 13 listings, but it averages a $53 sale price, which is exactly what we're trying to achieve. So all brilliant items, but I do need to go ahead and I have to put them into the inventory sales tracker. We've got to work out what our true profits are when these sales start to come in. Even though the goal is $5,000 in revenue, I still wanna know how much money I'm making. So I'm gonna show you this very, very basic spreadsheet that you guys can set up when you run your own business. This one works a treat. There you go, nothing fancy. I've literally just created a spreadsheet that itemizes every single one of our items by title. We've got the date that it was purchased and then we've got the purchase price. And it worked out today to $99.50 for our 13 items. So 700 in value purchased for hundred bucks. I think that is fantastic. The next step is to get these items listed. Now, when it comes to my listing, the process I'm gonna go through is to batch my photos. So I'm gonna take all my photos for these listings here. I'm gonna be trying to take six photos of every item and I'm gonna try and capture every single aspect of the product that I'm trying to sell. That's a very important tip. And then I'm gonna go and really work on getting a strong title because I really do think when it comes to listings, especially when I'm starting out with zero traffic in my store, I'm gonna to have to be fighting for impressions, fighting for page views, and ultimately I'm fighting for sales in the very early days, especially with no feedback. So so what that's gonna mean is I'm gonna place a incredible focus around nailing my titles and my photos. If you can do those two things, 
along with a competitive price, you're going to get stand a very, very good chance of making some sales relatively quickly. And that's exactly what we want out of this challenge. So I'm going to shoot all my photos right now and I'm going to head upstairs and check out my listings, which I'll show you guys once I'm done. All right, guys, so as you can see here, I've been able to list up $689.35 worth of store value. I've actually already got two watches in a couple of hours. So that's really exciting. We've already been able to get a pinch a couple of watches there. As you can see, all of them are listed out, 13 listings. I've really tried to focus on title um, for a lot of these. I'm always sort of putting like the, the title of the DVD first, full house DVD, season one to four, and then even stipulating one, two, three, four, region four. And then I even threw the word rare in there because I saw a previously sold item that had the word rare, so I copied that. Um, and as you can see here, we've already had some page views. Um, the Alpine gloves, somebody's already gone ahead and looked at that. Interestingly enough, guys, I'm promoting my listings uh, at 3%. I'm doing that, even though it's suggesting 12.8. I, I do 3% in my main store, but I, I think for this store, for now, I'm going to go with 3% because we want to keep as much money as we possibly can. But if it, if it proves to be a case of not getting too many sales, uh, I'm going to up that number to about 5 or 6%. Uh, in the first couple of days. So I'm just going to pay attention to that. But with two watches already, uh, it tells us that we've got some pretty good items. Uh, I went with $49.95 on the Surf Life Saving Top. We've already had two. Look at the views on these. We've got two, three, and four. There's four views on the Dolphin Swim Shorts at $75. bucks. that would be awesome if that one comes through. Um, so anyway, guys, they've already gone ahead and been listed up, which is fantastic. I have also um, stored them away. If you have a look in here, just there, number 2A, I've gone ahead and I've skewed them up with the 2A code and I know now that they will be in that tub when they go on to sell. So your skewing is very important. The spreadsheet's done, the listings are up. Hopefully now over some time, we can get our first couple of sales. All right guys, it has been 19 hours since I listed up those first set of listings, the store starter. And we have got a grand total of zero sales. Nothing has come through just yet, but I'm not disappointed. It's what I was expecting. It's always a very, very slow start, especially when you don't have any feedback. You're a brand new store listing brand new items. It's going to take some time, but I'm still very, very confident in the items that we've been able to source in this episode, the Kickstarter, but I do need to find another $700 worth of stock, which will be the total worth of stock that will go in over the next week. Um, basically $100 worth of listings every single day, nice and easy into the store, hopefully keeps the activity coming in and some sales will start to generate. That's the plan anyway. Hey, I made a complete how-to beginner's guide of how to sell on eBay, start to finish, getting into the real nitty gritty of the listing process, the photos, all those sorts of things. It's a video right here that will really help you guys if you're waiting to start your own eBay journey. Hopefully this series is gonna be a fun one. I'm looking forward to having you guys following along. Hit the subscribe button if you can, hit the like button too if you've enjoyed this one. We'll see you soon.